What's up, guys? It's Monday. That means it's Joe's All Star Tool Monday. The bucket of cash is filling back up pretty good. Not been long since we had a winner. Anyway, it's Monday. Let's see what Joe's got. You guys, come on. Hey guys, how y'all doing? Hope y'all had a good weekend. I know I worked so hard. I told my wife, I said, I think I'm not gonna be able to make it in. And I paused a little bit and I said, yeah, I think two or three months. <laughs> have to have to ask the boss for a day off. Oh man. man. But anyways, she knows better. She don't even give, she don't even wink at me if I'm not, you know. Yeah, she's like, I get back to work. I gotta find a new line. But no, anyways. You, you need to find a new truck, is what you need to do. Yeah. Not a new too. line of work, that you need too. to find a new truck. But uh, thanks to somebody, I've been uh, reaching out to Steve Lithow in Michigan. So, cool. Thank you. I forgot your name. Uh, I'd give a shout out to you for putting that out there again, out there. So, Hopefully but anyways, you can get something done. I'm I'm walking out of uh, Lowe's Saturday like normal, or or it was Friday. Yeah, it was Saturday. I was getting something. My uh, AC went down again at the house, a control switch. But mm. uh, I'm walking out. Here I see uh, one lady driving her electric cart out, and followed by another lady with her electric cart, and a guy in the Lowe's uh, jacket, you know, walking out. He's carrying two, you know, little boards, probably shelving boards, you know, two, two and a half feet long. And he's just walking along behind them with them, carrying them out to the car. I'm just walking up behind him and it just comes to me. He says, dragging a line, do do, dragging a line. I'm carrying my bag. <laughs> he just looks at me and I says, I feel fine, dragging a line. <laughs> Finally, he got into it. He just starts busting out laughing too. Oh, they keep going their way. I go to my, you know, my, my car and head out. <laughs> It, it just happened just <laughs> like that. It's like, we're, I come up with these things. It just comes out. There you but go. anyways, we got to talk about the bucket of crash, cash, crash today. Anyways, it's, it's filling up. It's filling up because Mr. Mark Griffin, he calls me up and he surprises me. He says, hit me for 10. Holy smoke. So that's a thousand bucks. There's 10 of them here. Wow. He says, take me for a thousand. And then he... And then uh, I, I go, well, it was a good thing I was sitting down when he sent that, you know, it got me off my feet. And he texts me next, says, oh yeah, there's some Milwaukee stuff I'm looking for. Uh -huh. He says, I'm looking for some big stuff. And it's like, oh yeah, that figures. There you go. But anyways, uh, thank you, Mr. Mark. And anybody that don't know it, he's one of our, yep. he's one of our service members who's retired after many years in the service. He's one of our heroes, so. Um, cool dude too. I always give a, a good a good uh, mention out for him. Yep. So, one of the things I have, I've had this here before, but it is the uh, Vim Shake and Break. And you get three drivers with it. One that'll drive three eight sockets, one for half inch sockets, one that'll drive impact bits because the bits you get are impact rated because this works with your air hammer you can you get Torx Plus of course you gotta put them in here <laughs> I can't sing either we already found that out but they go in there use your air hammer to break it free or to, to hit it and you work it free yep by hand. So you got Torx, Torx Plus, Triple Square, your Allens, you got your Phillips and Flat. And those are all 5 sixteenths bits. Yep. Five time more too. That they are. And they lock in there pretty good too. <laughs> yep. So I got these here uh, for 200 bucks. As I said, you got all your impact bits. Like I said, they're all warranty. You got your everything from your 3 8 driver for your sockets, half inch, your half inch sockets, 
If you need an air hammer, we can hook you up with that too. There you go. That's a great kit too. That, that is. I got the new Milwaukee half inch stubby. Okay. With the short face, it's got the lights, and it is the 550 foot pound torque. Oh, yeah. These things are, I mean, I'm just letting that sit there. That's its own torque, its own power. It just, it's got power. So, I had the 3 8 last. Uh, I got more of those coming. I got uh, my first shipment of the half in. Mm -hmm. I got more of these coming as well. I like the way they did the lights on the yeah. end of it. You guys can see it there. Yep. That's pretty cool. And it does. Is that rubber? It, yeah, it's like a rubberized plastic. Yep. It pretty actually nice. work, lights up your work surface a whole lot better when you're working on something. Yeah, it's a great design. And they didn't make it any heavier or anything? Did nope. They? It's actually a little shorter. It's stouter. Um, cool. 325 bare tool. Flip that thing over and I see that side. Wait. The other side. Okay. This here, Milwaukee, nothing but heavy duty. Maybe it'll hit something. Milwaukee needs to make you a damn tool truck, don't they? You know, <laughs> I said that way back. If, when my, I had if it my... lasts Joe two months without breaking down, it's, it's amazing. Hey. <laughs> when I had my Kenworth truck and I was selling Milwaukee tools, I was like, if Milwaukee hit come out with the tool truck I'd, I'd go that way well you drag raced your tool trucks a lot of people may not know that on here but joe was he's uh he drag raced his tool truck believe it or not we, we had we had a night at the races for with our tool trucks and joe drag raced a cornwell tool truck a big kenworth kenworth hey yep yeah. <laughs> what did you win no we just we just you know did our times <laughs> There's no winning. You need to you need to take the transit yeah. and put the, but, put it pink slips and never see. leave the starting line. But, <laughs> yeah. Somebody here, will take it. Here you go, dude. <laughs> take it. But you know, we left them loaded with tools and everything else. There there was no. My one buddy though, he's he's big in the race anyway, so he put in great big eight inch stacks in his and change out all his injectors and stuff he, he put on a pretty good show because he, he co-rolled that whole thing <laughs> um but that's so my good buddy that's a fun fact not that, many people know joe drag race the tool truck that's my uh good buddy kevin we've talked about him before kevin yep. and christy up in michigan there you go. Let me see, north is that way right yeah they just got they got beat by washington this weekend did you see that that michigan, what michigan got beat by washington oh. Mm. Hey, it's a sad day. I have a Kershaw knife. Kershaw. Kershaw. And uh, it's pretty sleek. Yep. Cool looking design. She flips nice. on out. Nice blade. Good looking blade. It's sharp. Uh, one guy was showing me today that, uh, yeah, it's sharp. He shaved his uh, hair off his wrist. Um, there you go. You That's can, pretty cool. You can switch the. Uh, Everybody should Flip do that on a pocket knife. On either side, but uh, they're 67 bucks. Every pocket knife should have a switchable pocket clip. Pocket clip. Yep, pocket clip. Okay. Yep. If they don't, they should. They should. But Kershaw. There you go. We got Maxion. It's the big, big daddy of the yep. lights. Comes with its own wireless Charging charger. Device. All you do is plug this in. This is got is magnetic. It'll stick, and then this here will stick to it. And wireless charge. If your phone wireless charges, you can lay it on it. As long as you don't have this vertical, because it yep. will fall down. And you don't like that. But uh, and that one's got the focusable beam too. And strong magnet. It flips. Yes. For, a focusable focusable beam. Focusable. Focusable. <laughs> you can turn it in. You can. I don't think we can do this. So it's bright out. out here. The sun's shining bright. Yep. In the cloudless sky. It turns in. Yep. But, uh, well, it might turn up if we turned it up a little bit. Could see a little bit better. But we're close, but. Yep. yep. And then it also lets you know. To charge your battery. 
So four bars, it's got full charge, and hanging hook. Wireless charge, or you can use your you can, regular charger, USB-C, if you don't want a wireless charger. And charge it directly. Yep. Yes, indeed. It's a good line. So if you stick this somewhere and it drives away on you and you forgot where you stuck it. But anyways, these are 110. Maxion's hard to beat for the money. They, they're good lines. They're durable. Yep. Um, at one company, they just live on these. Well, the magnets is so strong on them too. That's kind of like it is. So I'm gonna give you guys a piece of advice. If you buy one of these lights, put you some painters tape on here. And you're probably like, "What's this guy smoking crack putting painters tape on there?" Because this thing is gonna collect rust when you stick it up under your car, put it on your workbench. It's gonna have drill bit shavings, rust, all kind of crap. Peel that tape off. Put a new piece of tape on it. You never have to worry about your magnet getting corroded over. Yeah. Bam. There's a fun thing. Freebie right there. I like that. I'm going to use that. Works. Thank you, Clay. Works good. So, that's the uh, great tip of the day. None better. That's the OCD in me right there. But I have a shop that uh, that's great at leaving this on, uh, on their tractor trailers when they get done with yeah. them. They come to the coast and they just pull them back off again and give them a charge mm -hmm. if they've been gone for a while. I've done so, that. I've left one under a truck and it stayed gone all week. I got it back the next week. So. Just put the tra charge on it and uh, comes back. Keep now this here, this here, I've been waiting for this for a little bit. I ordered the whole thing. Um, something I've been kind of waiting for. And mm -hmm. I purposely, usually, like, the stuff I get in, I'll be selling all the way here. This here I waited until I got here to open it for the first time. This here is the, uh, I like it, but we're just going to pull out So one for it. you guys that don't know, this is the Tool Dealer's display case this is the mr station which stands for mag rail station yep i can't pull out a middle one they're all these magnets are stout <laughs> so joe's got the new version that does have the pink and the purple rails in it so it comes in seven different colors and four different lengths as you see here so you got your 20 your 16s your 12s and your eights so Joe has mag rails in stock. <laughs> yes. So you see that's the pink ones Joe's got out. And also you guys can see on the new ones here, this is the updated mag rails. You can see they're powder coated instead of the anodized aluminum. And quick reference, you can tell if it's got the Vim logo screen printed on it like that. And they've taken the sharp corners off of the old style mag rails. Now it's nice and round so it don't have that sharp edge on it. So there's the pink. Let's see. Yeah, Let's see if we can get one of the purple ones out. Right there. There we go. There's the purple. So it's uh, red, purple, orange, blue, black and pink. So we lay them out here so you guys can see all the colors. Yeah, I'm going to try to pull one out of the middle. Nah, these magnets are... <laughs> they style. You can see how the new orange powder coat looked. It was the anodized color. Now the new powder coated is really bright. Looks really good. So... Black is now powder coated, it's not anodized. All, all of them's powder coated, but you can see the difference in the color, how bright and vivid the red is, and the blue now. So there's all the colors, orange, pink, black, red, purple, and blue. So here you go, guys. Here's what the green looks like. It was actually stuck on the board. They're magnetic, they'll pop off, but um, that's the green. In case you guys haven't seen the new powder coated green, now you have so that's all the colors and all the sizes and this is the board that would go out to his truck and put the quarter inch 38 half inch pegs as long as the um, also with the lift rings so that's what the green looks like style ain't it joe <laughs> <laughs> so strong. once joe gets this up you guys have seen them on some tool dealer's truck there's a magnetic board that goes on the wall and each one of these are stacked on top of it 
It's got all your lift rings, your quarter inch, three inch, half inch pegs that come in the MR drawers that are affixed to it. That way you'll have a nice pretty little display and that's how it works. While you guys can see it here. screws a little bit. These put it are in the end. metal on the inside, not plastic on plastic, so they're not gonna break off on you. And you need this here, right here, because when up. you put it somewhere, you need to be able to go pull it off. Yep. Sound effects. <laughs> so, each of these uh, jars is a little something different in them. Yep. I recognize these jars, they're great jars. They came with the uh, the cloths, the uh, mag rags. Mag rags. Yep. So yeah. there you go guys. I'm kind of excited about this here set. Need mag rails, contact Joe. He's got them. So guys, that's what we have for today. I hope you have a great week. Um, go somewhere and you can drag the line sing the song and see if somebody else <laughs> gets a crack of laugh there you um, go there's some of these people here that watch this it's way too young to know that song probably yeah. well you know now it gives you something <laughs> new to look up there you go um, all right guys well if you need anything from joe his number is right down here at 731-412-7295 shoot him a text message and he'll get back with you like always thanks for hanging out with us on this monday if you like the video hit that thumbs up check over here for merchandise cool tools and discount codes down here if you're not subscribed take your finger click that button it's free you guys have a great week see ya